Okay, hello and welcome. This is <clears throat> just a quick tip with the Shama sandals. Uh, I just got these. These are the Warrior Maximus. Pretty sweet, I will say. I just got them. I've been wearing them every day for probably a week or two now. <clears throat> Uh, when I got them, I was like, oh, these are like little dinky things, but they're actually very comfortable. Um, my other sandals that look just like this kind of are the Luna uh, Middle Bear sandals. Yes, buddy. Um, but I was finding that the wings on the Lunas right here were rubbing, so I had never had a pair of Shama sandals. I've had Earth Runners. I've had another pair of Shamas, the Monos, but I didn't like the tread because it's like this foamy. It's nice, but it's not for not good for hiking, as far as I'm concerned. Sandals, yeah, we're talking about sandals here. Um, so when I got these, I'll undo this one because I have it. I got this trick going here. So when you get them, you've got your Velcro strap here. You got a Velcro strap here on this side, and then you have this like retention system here. And you've got this flap and then a flap concealer or whatever holder. Um, so what I noticed is when I put these on, I get this little flap on the Velcro section. And then I've got this thing over here held down. But this thing drives me crazy because it just, my feet will like, it together while I'm running or walking and it'll rub my ankle and so I came up with this little trick thought I would share it with y'all because I think this is ingenious so what I do let's see if I can get this in a good position so you've got I take my flap on the retention side Well, I'll show it to you on this one. So I took that weird, that little scrunchy band that would normally be over here on the side where the retention section is. And I moved it over to the side where the Velcro is. And what I do with this extra flap here is I tucked it up and back through the buckle. So it kind of goes out toward the front of the sandal like this. That way, when I put this sandal on, I can tuck the Velcro in under this. So I'll show you on this one where I've undone it. This is normally pressed down here and held there, but I take it back up and you can stick it through the front here. And pull it tight through there. That way, this is out of the way. You don't need to retention it. And you can, I mean, you can go back and what I did was I put it, I had it all set up, <coughs> had it all set up nice so it fit me snug. I wore it for a few days. I got really comfortable with it. And I just pressed this down like that. And I drew with a paint marker the line. So when I undo it and then I put it back, I know exactly how far to put it. And I took this and put it over here. <clears throat> and that's basically it. Um, it's really simple. I hate when there's things flapping around on like backpacks and stuff. I like to keep all those straps tight. <clears throat> so I will show you. I'm gonna put this one sandal back on. Let's see if I can get this in a good position here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can see, <clears throat> now I've got this flap here totally out of the way. And then when I pull this, I pull it tight, 
comfortable and now I can tuck this. And now it's completely smooth. That's not gonna like, when I'm walking, sometimes I don't know, like my ankles rub together or something. <clears throat> so I'll do this one here. So I've, what I've done is got it set up. I drew my paint line there, so I've got a paint line. Now I'm gonna undo it, taking it out of there. Undoing this one, undoing this one, uh, taking it out of here, and taking it out of this side strap. I am taking this guy off, putting it away for a minute so I don't lose it. And then you gotta kinda spread this apart and get your thing back through. Oops. This is the proverbial shaky hands while you're making a YouTube video. So you kind of got to snake it through here. It's tight, but it's worth it. So then there's kind of like, since I've been wearing these, it's indented. So I know kind of where to put that back. And then when you put this back, you gotta make sure you go up through the center. And then back through here. And then back through the center, or the front. And you kinda gotta wiggle it and get a little tip coming through. And then you can grab it, slide it through. And now what I'll do is I'll check and it's perfect. So it's matched up with my line. Now I'm taking this off and I'm taking my retention piece and I'm putting the threading part on the outside because I don't want this this like uh, where the stitching is. I don't want that rubbing up against my ankle. It's kind of a little bit bulky. I'm putting that on the outside. Probably a good idea if you have a pair of uh, needle nose pliers, then you don't have to try and grab all these things with your fingers and pull them through. You can just grab them and pull them. Then you're putting the Velcro back up through here. Apologies if this is a long, tedious YouTube video, but hey, some people like tips like this. I found it helpful. Now when I put this back on, nice and snug, I like mine to be tight. I'm running it. Let's see, make sure I'm in the screen here. And now I've got this tuck and I'm good to go. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Now I've got these very streamlined, no nonsense going on. Um, and I don't ever have to mess with this. Again, It's these are set up. I am very likely to never touch that again. bring you guys back up here I hope that uh was fun for you <laughs> is, is it ever fun watching a video like this um Yeah, I just like making things really simple and uh, less complicated and functional and finding like the way to make everything move efficiently. Then I don't have to think about it as much and um, yeah, just creating cool, good systems. For some reason, it's part of my nature to create systems like that. Um, I know this, we're just talking about sandals here, but 
I like to study permaculture and uh, I do a lot of stuff with my hands. So making things efficient and finding a way that they flow like in the kitchen and stuff. And especially when you're, I don't live off grid, but I kind of live a little bit more primitively out here currently. Um, so it's all about figuring out a way to make it efficient because you're going to have to do it over and over and over again. Like we don't have a, we don't have a sink with water coming out of it right here. We've got a spring and we fill up, fill up our jugs and we do our dishes out here. But, um, yeah, when you live next to this jungle, I'll pour some fucking water. So, hope that's helpful for you guys. Uh, maybe I'll throw a couple of shots of nature out in the back of this video. And yeah, have an awesome day. Stay safe. Um, you do not need to subscribe or like this video. I think right now my current high is 46 views. Thank you, people. Keep coming back. You know, whatever you, people on YouTube do. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. So. Um, yeah, this is probably drawing out the video. More than I'd like. Peace. What do you got to say, Phoenix? Any special words you want to say, people? Can we get the word of the day? Dookie. Dookie. Dookie, everybody.